And we take you now to Mississippi, a heartbreaking day here in this trailer park. I'm Dave Malkoff. We have an updated number on the number of people who died here. It is Wednesday. It's the last day of April. This is America's Morning Headquarters, AMHQ on the Weather Channel. starting to clean up and assess those damages after a preliminary EF3 tornado touchdown on Monday. And our Dave Malkoff is there for us live this morning, Dave. And, you know, we continue to tell the stories about the people affected. And it's just another day they're going to have to go out there and try and clean up. Yeah, it's really rough, Maria. You just said it was preliminarily an EF3. What the heck does that mean? Well, let me show you what that means. If you walk through this debris, and I'm gonna be very careful, number one, because I don't want to hurt myself, and number two, because this is someone's belongings. But I think this is important information when we're trying to explain what EF3 is. You see this trailer here, and then you see this piece of rusted metal on top. What is that? Well, that piece of rusted metal is the bottom of another trailer. So the winds coming through here, roaring through this occupied complex, picked up a trailer into the air at at least 136 miles an hour, if not more, and slammed it on top of another trailer, obliterating both of them. That's an enormous amount of wind power and it also tells you why you should never ever be inside a mobile home during any kind of tornado or severe thunderstorm. It's just a very dangerous spot to be. Sam, we say it all the time that you should not be in a mobile home. You should get out. That's why we're here to give you the warning. That's why the sirens are blaring. This is not a place to be, right, Sam? Yeah, and it's exactly right, Dave. In, in an area like that, we understand people have to have affordable housing, but you have to be on point. When the warnings or the watches come out, you have to already know where you're going to go uh, in the event of that, because in so many cases, you can't survive it right. in an environment like that. All right, Alabama and Arkansas.